Tesla and electricity. What, what did you think about Tesla's initial idea? This documentary explores the hidden and suppressed inventions that could have revolutionized our world. Piece by piece, and he knew exactly how he was going to build these inventions. And that's why in the 1950s and 60s, when everyone is imagining flying cars and motorized uh, sidewalks, everything is running on energy. From Nikola Tesla's free energy to the mysterious technologies of Viktor Grabenikov and Henry Ford, many groundbreaking ideas were sidelined, often due to corporate interests or government intervention. In this second part of our series, Tesla, I think, was actually capturing resonant magnetic field energy of the Earth that's almost boundless. We'll delve into the forgotten geniuses and their extraordinary discoveries that never reached the public eye. These stories have fascinated not just inventors, but also platforms like the Joe Rogan Experience, JRE, which has brought attention to these suppressed innovations and the powers behind their disappearance. the cavity structure effect, and the hemp car. Viktor Grabenikov, a self-taught entomologist from Russia, stumbled upon a discovery that defied conventional science. His fascination with insects led him to a breakthrough he termed the cavity structure effect, CSE, which he believed held the secret to anti-gravity. In the early 1980s, while camping in Siberia, Grabenikov felt a strange sensation while lying on the ground, only to discover he was on top of an underground bee city. This led him to experiment with parts of bee nests, where he observed an unusual heat emission and theorized that the geometric structure of the honeycombs created an invisible force field capable of influencing the environment. This was the beginning of his anti-gravity platform, a device capable of reaching speeds up to 1,500 km and heights of 300 meters. However, despite his incredible claims and even a published book, Grabenikov faced rejection from the scientific community and eventual suppression of his work, raising the question of whether he had uncovered something too disruptive for the powers that be to allow. On the other side of the world, Henry Ford, an advocate for renewable energy long before it became mainstream, embarked on a project that could have changed the course of automotive history. In the 1940s, Ford built the hemp car, a vehicle made from a composite material of hemp fibers and fueled by hemp biofuel. Ford's innovative car not only promised environmental benefits, but also featured a body material that was 10 times stronger than steel. However, as the oil industry began to dominate global energy markets, Ford's hemp car was sidelined and its development was ultimately abandoned. The political and economic forces that protected the petroleum industry played a significant role in preventing this revolutionary idea from reaching the public. Ford's vision was ahead of its time, but the prevailing interests of the oil industry ensured that the world would never see the potential of the hemp car. The Radiant Energy Device and Perpetual Motion Machine In the 1930s, T. Henry Moray, an electrical engineer from Salt Lake City, introduced a device that could harness the limitless energy of the cosmos. His Radiant Energy Device claimed to convert cosmic energy into usable electrical power a concept inspired by the groundbreaking work of Nikola Tesla. Moray's device reportedly powered lights, radios, and motors without any apparent external energy source. Yet despite numerous public demonstrations, his work faced intense skepticism. The scientific community dismissed his claims due to a lack of detailed explanations and an unwillingness to allow independent verification. But Moray's determination to prove his invention led to further sabotage. He reported that his lab had been searched, his equipment destroyed, and that powerful interest groups were actively suppressing his work. The implications of such a discovery were enormous, and it seemed that Moray's efforts were deemed too dangerous for the established energy sector. Moray continued his research, but after his death, his work was largely forgotten, leaving only questions about the true potential of his radiant energy device. Similarly, Victor Schauberger, an Austrian inventor and naturalist, studied the dynamics of water flow and developed theories that many believe could revolutionize energy generation. Schauberger's most famous invention, the Repulsine, was designed to harness the natural energy of water in a vortex-like motion, which he theorized could create propulsion without the need for external energy. Schauberger believed that by imitating the natural movements in water, a perpetual motion system could be developed. His research into vortex dynamics attracted the interest of the Nazi regime during World War II, but
but Schauberger was forced to work under military supervision, and after the war, he was detained by U.S. intelligence agents. Many believe that Schauberger's inventions were suppressed due to their potential to disrupt the energy landscape, a possibility that was considered too dangerous by powerful economic and political interests. Schauberger's work on natural power, much like Moray's radiant energy device, vanished into obscurity, leaving a legacy of suppressed innovation that continues to intrigue those who study his work. Coral Castle and the Wasp X-Jet Edward Leeds Kalnan's Coral Castle in Homestead, Florida, remains one of the most mysterious structures of the 20th century. Built by Leeds Kalnan alone, the massive stones, some weighing up to 30 tons, have baffled researchers for decades. Leeds Kalnan claimed to have discovered the secrets of the ancient pyramids, which allowed him to move and carve the stones. His methods were never fully revealed, but some believe he used magnetic forces or acoustic levitation. Leeds Kalnan's secrecy and the absence of conclusive evidence have fueled theories about lost ancient knowledge. He even said that he knew the secret of the pyramids. The mystery of Coral Castle continues to intrigue visitors and researchers, many of whom wonder if Leeds Kalnan's techniques were based on undiscovered scientific principles. Meanwhile, the Williams X-Jet, developed by Williams International, was a groundbreaking vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, aircraft designed to carry a single operator. With intuitive controls that allowed the operator to steer by leaning, the X-Jet offered impressive agility hovering capabilities, and speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. The U.S. Army evaluated the X-Jet in the 1980s as part of its interest in new military technologies, but after a thorough evaluation, it was deemed inferior to helicopters and UAVs due to its limited range and payload. The X-Jet, though promising, was never fully developed for personal or military use, marking a missed opportunity for the evolution of personal aviation. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Cloudbuster and the Original Electric Car Wilhelm Reich's Cloudbuster, developed in the 1950s, was designed to manipulate the weather by harnessing orgone energy. Reich theorized that orgone energy, which he believed permeated the atmosphere, could be used to disperse or create clouds. His experiments, including one on a blueberry farm in Maine where he allegedly broke a drought, showed promise. However, Reich's claims were met with skepticism and his work attracted significant legal opposition. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, launched an investigation into Reich's orgone devices, leading to the destruction of his research materials. Reich was sentenced to prison and his work was suppressed. Despite his controversial theories, the Cloudbuster represented a bold exploration of how energy could influence natural systems. In the world of automotive innovation, the General Motors EV1 was the first mass-produced electric car launched in the late 1990s. The car's electric power system and zero emissions marked a step toward sustainable mobility. Despite its success among a small group of environmentally conscious drivers, GM decided to discontinue the EV1 in 1999, citing limited battery range and high production costs. However, many critics suggest that the real reason for its cancellation was the influence of the oil industry, which saw electric vehicles as a threat to their market dominance. GM's decision to recall and destroy all EV1 units ensured that the electric car's potential was never fully realized. Project XA and the Hendershot Generator In the mid-20th century, Dr. James D. Mould, a scientist working with Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company, Embarked on Project XA, this groundbreaking research led to a cigarette containing palladium and magnesium nitrate, which reduced cancer risks significantly. Despite successful lab tests, the project faced opposition from Liggett and Myers executives, who feared lawsuits from consumers harmed by regular tobacco products. As a result, Mold's work was suppressed, and the safer cigarette was never brought to market. This case highlights how economic interests often overshadow public health and prevent life-saving innovations. Similarly, Lester Hendershot, an inventor in the late 1920s, developed the Hendershot Generator, a free energy device that harnessed the Earth's magnetic field to generate electricity without fuel. 
Despite successful demonstrations, Hendershot faced opposition from the energy industry, and in the 1960s, his proposal to the U.S. Navy was rejected. Hendershot reported receiving threats to abandon his research and, in 1961, was found dead under suspicious circumstances. His work was suppressed, and his free energy device never reached the public. The story of Hendershot's invention is a tragic example of how powerful industries can stifle progress for their interests. The stories of these suppressed inventions are a powerful reminder of the delicate balance between innovation and power. From Grabenikov's anti-gravity vehicle to the hemp car, each of these discoveries held the potential to change the world, yet they were buried by corporate interests, political agendas, and societal resistance. While these inventions remain largely forgotten, their legacy endures as a testament to human ingenuity and the desire for progress. As we continue to search for hidden truths and challenge the forces that suppress innovation, we can only hope that the next breakthrough will not be silenced but embraced for the betterment of humanity. Thank you for watching.